Hi everybody, it's Tim with Tim Boyer Photography. Today's tutorial is on the gear that I'm taking to Nome. By the time you see this video, I'll be in Nome taking pictures of shorebirds, eiders, terns, loons, other birds like that. Lots of birds go to Alaska for the summertime to take advantage of the insect bloom that's up there and they could raise their young really efficiently. There's plenty of insects and food up there for them, so they make those long migrations because of that. But let's talk about the gear that I take when I go to Nome. So I'm taking the 600 millimeter lens. It always goes in the pack first. I'm taking the 5D Mark IV, my main camera. I'm taking a wide angle lens for landscapes because it's wide open landscape up there. So a 17 to 40 millimeter landscape lens. I'm taking my 25 millimeter extension tube and my 1.4 extender. I have plenty of CF cards. I have a Bluetooth speaker. I have the Cam Ranger for remote shots. I have plenty of batteries. And I'm going to take the microphone that's on the camera that I'm recording this with, Rode Video Pro microphone. And then I take the Canon C Angle Finder. And that fits on the back of the camera like that. And then I can have the camera and lens lower, and then I can look straight down into the angle finder. And I don't have to, maybe I can kneel while the camera's all the way on the ground. I don't have to lay down if it's too wet or something. So just in case it's too wet, I'll use that. And then I have the uh, lens coat travel hood, and I use this because it's super lightweight, folds flat, fits right in here. The other things that I'm taking are my camera manuals because I always travel with these in case I need to change some settings or figure out how to do something. And then I have a variable neutral density filter and I have a circular polarizer and that's a 77 millimeter thread and that's the same thread as the wide angle lens and the 100 to 400 lens. So that's what goes in my main backpack. And this goes on the plane with me. And then in my other carry-on I have my MacBook Pro external hard drives and the power cables for the MacBook Pro. I've got the 100 to 400 millimeter flight lens. I've got my strap for carrying that around easily. And I've got the Canon 7D Mark II, which I'll put on the 100 to 400. And then I have my binoculars. So this is my carry-on. This is the gear that I take on the plane. It's all the expensive and fragile equipment that I don't want to check in my hard side luggage. The next little video section will be on what I put in my hard side luggage, tripods and things like that. This is the gear that I'm taking to Nome that I'm going to be putting in my hard side luggage on my check bag. So I've got my muck boots, my rubber boots, I've got a Gore-Tex top and bottom, light Gizzo tripod, light for me, it still has a weight rating of over 26 pounds, the gimbal head from Wimberley. I'm taking a Gorilla Pod as well just for some lower angle stuff. Plenty of bug stuff. I've got uh, wipes and then I've got the spray stuff, smaller bottle that I can carry with me all the time. And then the other thing that I have inside are these little wristbands and those are really helpful. You slap those on your wrist and the bugs don't bite you while you're trying to take pictures. And then if it's really bad, I use a mosquito net over my hat, protects my face and stuff and that's really good. The other thing I'm taking here is a uh, bag blind or a throwover blind, and this will go over me and my tripod breaks up the human silhouette so the birds don't get as skittish. I've got plenty of uh, battery chargers that I power cord here so I can charge multiple things like my batteries and the cam ranger and the Bluetooth speaker and all that stuff all at once. I have a cleaning kit here with some tools, multi-tool, various nuts and bolts, screws, Allen wrenches and things, the clean stuff, rocket thing, lens brush for the lenses, and then I've got this two inch paintbrush that I use to get sand and stuff off the camera and the lenses before I, you know, try to pack them away, and then lens cleaning stuff. The other thing that I'm taking is it's extra long plate so that I can slide it into the Wimberley head and then I can mount the camera sideways for landscape pictures if, if I want to do landscape pictures and that's the easiest way to do this. So that's it, this all goes in the hard side luggage. Check it on the plane, don't worry about it. If you enjoy what I'm doing on my channel, give me a subscribe, maybe like and share this with your friends. This chapter is sponsored by my book, Learn the Art of Bird Photography. It's available on Amazon 
as a Kindle book and as a trade paperback, or you can order it off my website at timboyerphotography.com, and I will send you a signed copy. I do a tutorial every Wednesday, so until then, good shooting, and I will see you later. Bye.